Hello, this is Andy Ford video, and we're going to look at making a layer inherit the opacity of the parent layer. So here we have two different colored shape layers. I'm going to drag the pick whip from layer two to layer one. So the red shape layer will now inherit the properties of the blue shape layer. And as you probably know, this includes things like scale and position. However, it does not include opacity. To fix that, we can make an expression. So we'll go to the opacity of our red layer, and we'll all click or option click to add an expression. And we can type has parent in parentheses with a capital P. And this attribute determines if the layer has a parent layer. And then we'll type a question mark. And if it does, what do we want to happen? Well, we want to use the value of that parent's opacity, which is parent.opacity colon value. And that means we're taking the value of the parent's opacity. So now if we go to the blue layer and lower the opacity, the red should follow. And it does. Now you may be saying, why don't we just pick whip the opacity value from the red layer over to the blue layer and be done with it? Well, that would be faster. However, this expression gives you more flexibility. Say, for example, you want the red layer to go down in opacity when the blue layer does, but you want it at a different rate. You can adjust it because of this expression. So if we make this part into an equation and divide opacity by 100, that allows us to multiply it by any value, let's say 50, and this means that our red layer will always be half the opacity of the blue layer. So that's an easy way to do an expression to inherit the opacity from a parent layer and also maintain some flexibility with the value. Thank you.